Okay, part two, it cut off. So some people come against something, they command to stop and it doesn't work. So they go back to sleep and they're continually tormented. Well, some of these things are stronger than others and they know that you're going to give up. So they come back at you knowing that you're not, you're not trying to stop them. So keep at it. Do it, do it until it stops. Um, you know, three times to 10 times if you need to command it to go away. If you, but if, even if it comes back up at you, you wake up, you command it to go away now in Jesus name, you go back to sleep. If it, you do that all night long, you do that, you know, for a week, see what happens, exercise your authority in the Lord. Um, but also the other thing is, um, think about this. Um, God is spirit. He doesn't need sleep. The angels are spirit. They don't need sleep. Demons are spirit. They don't need sleep. We're spirit. We have our spirit in us. And if you have the Holy Spirit in you, your spirit and his spirit is one. Well, your spirit does not sleep. So, um, the other cool thing is that, um, while you're sleeping, uh, the Lord works in our spirit so much and he trains us up and he even trained me in my sleep, um, in this topic of dreams. And in the past, when I would have torment, you know, I would have, um, I've had tormenting dreams, like scary, like I've been talking about. I've had tormenting sexual dreams come at me that I did not want to have. Um, I've had tormenting dreams. Um, I mean, anything that's in it, that's coming at you in your sleep that you don't want, they can be tormenting and they can come in a lot of different forms. They can be dreams coming at you telling you to harm people. Well, yeah, demons tell us to harm people. They want us to do that. Um, all kinds of different ways that he can come against you, but you have authority. Well, also another thing to look into is if for some reason you're trying to exercise your authority and these things aren't stopping, it would be worth it to say, you know, do I really have the Holy Spirit inside of me? Because there are a lot of people who are walking around and they think that they're Christ followers or they think they have the Holy Spirit and they actually don't. And so it would be a good time to say, hey, I'm supposed to have authority in Christ and it seems like I don't. Do I really have the Holy Spirit? I'm going to ask the Lord to get, to give me his Holy Spirit and to empower me if I'm not really sure. That's not going to hurt anything to, you know what I mean? Because there are a lot of people who are walking around for a lot of years. They don't have the Holy Spirit in them. And then one day the Lord opens their eyes and they realize, you know what I mean? That's why they're lacking power in different things. And um, so that's another thing that you could examine if you're not experiencing victory. Um, the other thing, so coming out of agreement with these, these evil things that you've either been watching, it can come through movies, also music, and it doesn't have to be scary music, but anything that is ungodly, that is demonic, it can be rap music, it can be heavy metal music. Well, if there are demonic spirits behind that and you're indulging in that, um, it can be movies with sexual scenes, whatever it is you're opening yourself up. And so if those demons, they then get rights to torment you in whatever way they want, they can torment you in your dreams. They can torment you by, you know, overwhelming you with voices or thoughts throughout the day, whatever way they choose. So ask the Lord, Lord, if you're, if you're going through nightmares, um, or you're being tormented in your sleep, Lord, do I have open doors? Just ask the Lord to show you, Lord, are there open doors in my life? Are there open doors that have been, that have come down from, um, my parents or my ancestors and just you know see what the Lord sends to your mind he wants you to get free and he will teach you how to walk through this process um, the other thing too is if um, if you are being tormented by sexual dreams well if you're watching movies with sexual things in them if you're listening to music with sexual messages in them if you're you know, engaging in pornography, if you're engaging in sexual fantasy in your mind, if you're, if you have a lustful heart and you're engaging in lustful thoughts throughout your day, those are all open doors where the enemy can bring those things against you or be causing thoughts for you to harm people in certain ways. So you need to ask the Lord to help you to close all of those open doors. Um, the other thing is, um, oops, hold on. The other the other thing is indulging in dreams. So if you have violent dreams or sexual dreams, whatever they are, here's, here's a ploy that the enemy uses. Well, you know, talks us into indulging in, in our dream. So we have a dream and we wake up. Wow. I didn't want to have that dream, but then we think about it and we replay it in our mind throughout the day. We can, if it was sexual, you're getting sexual satisfaction from it. Or if it was violent um, or scary, you could either be like working up fear inside of yourself or, you know, thinking about actually doing these things. So if you get a dream that comes against you 
Ask the Lord to renew your mind and take it away from you. And don't indulge in that dream throughout the day because even if you didn't ask for it or cause it, if you indulge in it, you're actually taking part in sin. And so you're opening that door and giving the enemy power again. So I'm running out of time. I just pray that the Lord open your eyes and I will post more about dreams and overcoming the enemy in dreams and how the Lord has worked in me um, as, as the Lord is leading me. So uh, bring these things to the Lord, be in your word, play worship music, ask the Lord to help you to close the open doors and even write things down as you hear or sense in the spirit that he's leading you to close these doors. It's so important. And, um, he will make you an overcomer in Jesus name. May he bless you and keep you and shine his face upon you. Thanks for listening guys.